Well, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to be selling a part of my Pokemon collection. And the reason I'm doing this actually is for a down payment on a house. I have uh, money set aside and we're going through with it, which I'm very excited about. Uh, but I want to get as much on the down payment as possible. And I have a bunch of Pokemon cards here that I quite frankly uh, got graded and they didn't get the grades I wanted. And that's okay. It happens all the time. But I have better versions of the cards now. And so I'm going to be selling all of these in order to uh, better finance my down payment. So I figured I'd show you guys everything here, and I'd love to know in the comments what you guys think everything here is worth, and maybe in the future I'll do a video showing off exactly how much money I got from everything, because that could be kind of fun as well. Either way, we'll start with our first stack here, and uh, <laughs> you're gonna notice actually a number of repeats. Here's a PSA 9 Charizard, PSA 8, PSA 9, PSA 8. I was on a quest for these Lost Origin Charizards to get some tens, and I ended up getting about six tens out of them, but it turned out to be a lot harder to grade these than I thought. A lot of these, I feel like, are in minty, minty condition. This one's a little bit off center, uh, but I still think it was probably ten worthy. There's no other damage on it. This one is like literally flawless. There's one print dot right there. And other than that, I see nothing, and it's very well centered. I, I don't understand with some of these. There were even some that I left out of the grading pile because I didn't think they would get 10s. Everything got 8, 9s, and 10s, but um, I think PSA uh, was not about me sending all of these at once. I think it would be better in the future, uh, if I do send more stuff like this, to send them in separate orders um, because that way... They don't do as much pop control on this because I think sometimes PSA likes to, you know, make sure that the population control stays okay for some of the tens. So, uh, you know, while I did get those tens and I'm happy and I'm keeping those, uh, I'm going to be selling all of these ones because, you know, I just, I've got the tens. I don't need those. I wish I had gotten more tens, but that's okay. I did the same thing with the Reshiram and Charizard, and I'm actually going to be keeping some of the nines as well. Uh, there might be a couple nines in here, but yeah, for the most part, hey, there's some more over here too. These got some eights and nines, and I really like this card a lot, and that's why I'm keeping the nines too. Uh, but the eights, I, you know, sometimes you just gotta choose to part way with things uh, when the time is right, and I think the time is right now. Uh, now. There's also some modern stuff uh, I'm selling that's not Charizard. Roseanne's Backup, um, Lost Origin, Arizu. We got the waifu cards here. Caitlyn, or Catlin. I think Caitlyn. I don't know. Uh, but I always grade waifu cards because, you know, they're waifu cards. People, people go gaga for them, so you might as well grade those. Um, hopefully those sell well. We've also got some vintage stuff scattered throughout. Chansey base set. Uh, these are mostly Japanese, it should be the vintage stuff that I'm selling, um, unknown, mainly because uh, I got a lot of Japanese stuff graded. I'm keeping most of my nines and tens and stuff like that, but there's a lot of duplicates in here that I'm just like, you know, get rid of them. I, I think I'm okay. <laughs> I, I don't need all, all these bulk cards that didn't grade super well. So I'll probably sell those in lots. Um, on top of that, uh, we got some rainbow um, ultra rares here. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, secret rares. As well as some uh, different just random VMAX stuff that I got graded as well. Um, here's a little vintage uh, reverse hollow action. Get some Torchic, a Bastiodon. Oh, we're going back to vintage Japanese. Okay, so Jump Bluff right here. Got a five. Heracross got a seven. And then Ampharos got a seven. I graded like 10 of these. Uh, and luckily a few of them did come back in tens, but it's a lot harder to grade vintage stuff. And that is where uh, PSA really starts getting on one about population control. Some of the modern stuff, they're more chill with in terms of population control, but like vintage stuff, oh, they, they really like that. Um, oh, and then this is random, but I used to collect a lot more Star Wars stuff. And so I'm gonna be selling some of my Star Wars um, cards as well here. There's some medallion cards, some numbered cards, some signed cards, uh, just kind of a variety of stuff here uh, that, you know, I've kind of come to the point 
with some of this stuff where it's time to say goodbye. Um, there's an Aura Singh, there's a Zero, there's a Mon Mothma, Tan Wei, Tuscan Warrior, and Sefton Vanek. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I've loved this stuff for a few years, some of this even less than a few years, um, but I think priorities change over time and eventually, you know, you wanna do other things um, with that money that you can access if you sell this. You know, it's not a liquid asset, but it can be um, if you just sell it, obviously. So uh, yeah, we've got more Reshiram Charizards here. Very nice. Uh, then we've got Japanese Energy, Japanese uh, Blossom, Typhlosion. This is a cool one. I really thought this was going to get better than a five. Um, that's a scratch on the card, not, no, on the deck, not the card. Um, I, yeah, I really want to know why this got a five. Everything you're seeing on front is on the PSA thing. This one I'll never understand. I mean, straight up, why did this get a five? There's, I, I, the first thing is like, oh, there's a crease or a bend somewhere, but there really, there just is not which is crazy. I've thought about regrading it, but at the same time, I'm like, uh, maybe I'm just not seeing something. I don't know, I'll take a better look later, but yeah. <laughs> Alrighty then. So then we've got a, a Giratina VMAX here. I love that card, but I have one in a higher grade. Um, Metal, Mel Metal VMAX right there, Gem Mint 10. Typhlosion V-Star Gem Mint 10. Uh, we've got a Kangaskhan 7. Uh, another Chansey base set Chansey. I have one in a 10, so I'm getting rid of these ones. And a 7 King Drop. Very nice. Uh, the reason there's so many vintage Japanese cards is I love the way the vintage Japanese cards look over the English ones. I think they look a lot cooler, <laughs> in my opinion. So that's why I bought so many and graded so many. Here's an English uh, Skarmory, though. PSA 8, non-hollow. Uh, we got a Golduck. Misty's Gold Duck, that is. A Steelix. And another Typhlosion. Hey, and this one's got a nice swirl. This one, you can see it has some scrapes on the card. This one makes more sense um, as to why it got the five. There's a lot of scraping on it. Um, but I mean, other than that, it's a beautiful card. I mean, five, uh, you know, you can have a five and it looks beautiful. It's just like, oh, centering or, you know, a couple scratches here and there. But like, you can't even tell. That's that's one of the beautiful things about low-grade cards. Uh, I'm saying all that while I'm like, oh, I'm keeping my 10s. <laughs> but that's because I like the 10s. I like the big number. Um, here's a Hitmonchan and another Flareon uh, right there. I'm telling you, some of, some of these did not deserve the grades they got. Some of them definitely did. But, yeah, <laughs> some of these, I'm like look, taking a second look at it. I'm like, no, why, why you give me that? Why? Um, all right, we got a Heracross here, PSA 7. Uh, we got a Pinsir, Pinsir right there. Uh, Jump Luff, PSA 7. Doug Trio, that's an English one, PSA 6. And a Nitto King from Base Set 2, which got an excellent 5, um, which is... Uh, oh, no, this is the one that deserved it. Yeah, I have a second one that I am going to regrade um, that definitely did not deserve the 5. But, yeah, this one did deserve it. Um, yeah, very nice. Uh, we'll have some more English vintage cards in this pile. So we got Koga's Beedrill. Then uh, we do have some more modern cards. PSA 9, Warp Energy, Rebel Clash, Twin Energy, Gem Mint 10, Trekking Shoes, Gem Mint 10. I mean, even in 10s, being secret rares and stuff like that, it's still 20 bucks, I want to say. Not expensive cards. Pokey Kid, oh, sorry, shaky camera. PSA 10. Then, uh, oh my god, we have more of these. PSA 9, uh, one of those. PSA 9, Psychic Energy. Uh, and then there's more waifus, but I don't know. Does the doctor count as a waifu? Probably, probably to some people. <laughs> more gold cards right there. Then uh, we've got the Shining Fates Ball Guy. The Aether Foundation Employee in 10. All these are 10s. Cynthia's Ambition, another waifu card. Uh, people love Cynthia. Charizard, PSA 9, so another one of these. Uh, Articuno, uh, Brilliant Stars, PSA 8. Uh, then we do some CGCs in here randomly. Colossal, P uh, 
CGC, nine. Um, all right, now, looks like we're getting into these Charizard Vs here, which is funny. Again, graded a lot of Charizards from this era because I think they are some of the best and cheapest Charizards you can get, and I think I just love them, and I really wanted some tens out of them, and I did, I got some tens, and I'm very happy about that. But here's all the rest of the attempts that I'm selling. Um, Chimchar, this is a CGC, seven and a half. Uh, Lycanroc, we've got a PSA eight and a level ball in a nine right there. Uh, again, CS, CGC. And this is the old CGC. I've never graded with the new CGC labels, but these old CGCs, oftentimes if you regrade them with PSA, you'll end up getting tens if you have nines or nine and a halves because they were very strict when I graded a lot of these. Uh, we've got another reverse vintage Spoink Crystal Guardians, uh, reverse vintage energy, fighting energy, and a <laughs> PSA 7 uh, Flareon randomly out here. Okay. Oh, and just a random Baltimore Orioles Seattle Mariners card. I think someone gave me that, um, that they pulled, and I was like, okay. <laughs> it's a bit random. Um, Mr. Stone's Project Reverse. Holon Adventurer, and another waifu in Bay, Rainbow Waifu. Uh, and then two random rainbow cards right there. Yeah. Uh, so overall, I mean, obviously selling quite a bit of the collection here, um, but really in, in the grand scheme of things, none of this is all that crazy. I mean, it's a lot of like $30, $40 cards. Um, so I'm hoping to get maybe two grand for all of this, maybe a little less. I, I don't know exactly. I, I haven't looked at the market for a lot of these cards in a minute, but I do feel like uh, some solid hitters in here, nothing too crazy, but it should be a, a decent return on my money. And, I, and I'm happy about that, um, especially considering I got a lot of the vintage cards for really, really cheap back in the day. And uh, some of the newer cards I just bulk bought and graded and I still get to keep the tens and I'm selling the old ones. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.